G'day everyone. Well, I just figured I'd uh, cut open some of these industrial fuses and show you what's inside them and how they work and how the parts vary from the different makes and models of them because as you can see, they're all used in different applications in the electricity business and but they all do the same thing though. Now, if you do happen to find some or get given some, um, if, yeah, if you find them on the side of the road or you've got a friend who's in the business, you are basically the easiest and least destructive way to get into it is to use a micro grinder and to make a T-shaped cut like I've done there and just use a screwdriver to pry it in the gap that you've cut and then you can pull these outer caps off. Now do be prepared for our sand spillage. These are filled with sand to contain the, uh, the molten metal but of course it's not molten when it's disconnected because it will have cooled down. But, yeah, don't do it inside or anything or anywhere that your parents will kill you because, yeah, sands, it's very fine stuff, actually. It's its a lot finer in fuses than it is, like, the stuff you get at the beach. So, do be pre prepared for our sand. But, uh, yeah, there's four basic parts to a fuse. You've got your outer ceramic housing. You've got your sand. You've got your caps. You've got your inner cap, which is what the straps soldered to and then your outer caps and then you've got your strap which is the mo this is basically the main part of the fuse which is what's carrying your uh, power but you've got a lump of solder in the middle there which when it goes through our overload that's what melts and breaks continuity making the fuse go open circuit and cutting the power but in short circuit the uh, entire strap incinerates itself and breaks continuity again, cutting power. But as you can see, that's a uh, 63 amp MEM. It's got lugs on it for being bolted to a uh, fuse box. We've got a uh, 80 amp Elstom. Oops, running out of camera battery here. But yeah, 80 amp Elstom. I haven't taken the inner caps off. As you can see, the copper straps inside. Both will be 40 amps each. And yeah, same deal though. Put a T shaped cut and you can pull the caps off and that's a uh, 150 amp um not sure who it's made by but it is made in the uk though and as you can see fairly thick ceramic housing and that burning in there is just from my grinding it's not from the fuse straps burning or anything but as you can see there's four I'm not sure whether it be if anyone's got a calculator type 150 divided by yeah, apologies about that it's just the camera running out of battery. I've stuck a new one in and it should be working alright now. But yeah, four uh, copper straps inside. If anyone's got a calculator, you can type in 150 over four. That'll give what each of these metal straps is rated to. But as you can see, they're all soldered to each individual strap is soldered to this uh, inner end cap. It's a funny looking number there. What's that say? Yeah, 150 amps. That's what it's rated to. So that will just be a little... Uh, manufacturer's mark just for themselves but yeah out of casing and I just use the grinder just cut that out just so I could show you what it all uh what it looks like but over here we've got a uh, much smaller 55 amp bovara in fact all the bovara fuses are pretty shit because they don't actually put proper gaskets in them and so being sit in a bucket full of water and getting rusty caps and things, they've leaked and they're all full of made all of sand go wet, which renders them useless for our uh, experiments and things, and basically being able to uh, resell or reuse them. But same deal though, you got two uh, I think they're about 27 amp uh, straps inside, which are just soldered to these end cap end caps here. These are the inner ones, and those are the outer ones. They're only about 10 mil in diameter, these smaller ones. But, yeah, they get much bigger than that. And last but not least, we've got this big, uh, I'm guessing it's power line fuse or something. It's 315 amps at 660 volts AC. It's got a little bit of rust on it. I do have another one of these in much better condition, so I'm hanging on to that one. But... You can, as you can see down in there, there's the, uh, the straps. I believe our photon did burn out a uh, 
a big busman. Um, I'm not sure what it was rated to, but it was a massive industrial fuse. It was like one of these smaller ones, but just 10 times the size. But uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. But as you can see, you've got the uh, individual straps soldered to these inner end caps. And you've got your gasket, which is put on to contain any sand and moisture. And then the outer cap, which is press fitted. But a little uh, warning, do be careful with our really, really old fuses. Because the uh, gasket will be made of asbestos. In these newer ones, it's uh, just paper or cardboard or plastic in some of them. But, yeah, just watch out for asbestos, because you really don't want to sink a grinder wheel into a uh, the end of a fuse and have asbestos dust going all through your shed or garage, wherever you're working. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you've learned a few things about how these work, what's inside them, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, and here's the ones I uh, torched in the incinerator when I had it running. As you can see, it's, yeah, they've changed colour. Well, that was the one that uh, blew its cap off. As you can see, it dangled to one side. It's probably because of the water build up in it, since it must have gotten trapped and it's just forced against the gasket and blown the cap off. But as you can see, the sand's definitely uh, changed colour. It's kind of nasty.